Let's see if you're going to be amongst the percentage of people that are going to get this problem right, because a lot of people are going to get this problem wrong. All right, so we have 4 divided by 1 half times 4. Now, the key to solving this problem is to take the correct steps. So we can either start off by doing multiplication first, or maybe we can do this by starting off with a division. All right, so what do you think? What is the correct order to do this problem? Because if you don't get the order right, you will get the wrong answer. All right, so the correct order is to do the division first. Now, why is that? Well, we need to review something called the order of operations, and there is a nice little acronym in math called PEMDAS. Now, just real quick, PEMDAS is a checklist that goes from left to right, and it tells us the proper order to do a math problem. So P stands for parentheses. So if you have any parentheses in your math problem, that's where you're going to start first. E stands for exponents, which is the little number in a power. So you can think of E as powers. So that's what you will do next. M and D stand for multiplication and division. Now, the way this works is the following. You're not just going to always do multiplication and then division. So in this particular problem, if we think that we need to do multiplication first, we would start right here. But indeed, we need to do the division first. So why is that? Well, the way this works in the order of operations is the following. So you're going to do any multiplication or division that you have, whatever you see first from left to right. So you got to scan the problem from left to right. So you can see here that what we see from the left-hand side of the problem is division. So that is what we need to do first. And then lastly, when you're done with all multiplication and division, you finish up with any addition and subtraction. Okay, so once you understand this, then uh, this problem gets to be pretty easy, assuming you know something about fractions. Okay, so 4 divided by 1 half is equal to 4 times 2 over 1. So when you are dividing fractions, what you need to do is flip the fraction to the right of the division operator. Okay, so now we have 4 times 2 over 1. And to multiply fractions, all you have to do is multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 1 is, of course, 1. All right, so 4 divided by 1 half is 8, and 8 times 4 is what we have remaining. Of course, is 32, which is the right answer. So for more math help, make sure to follow the link in the description and the comment section.